at a little pit stop, a little national forest pit stop right outside of Yellowstone, the Montana entrance. We are leaving Montana. We're saying adios. It's been great. I had fun. Did you have fun, Ole? It was amazing. Ole had a great time. Right behind me in this little baby pit stop, we have avalanche or earthquake lake. This was caused by an intense earthquake. I'm pretty sure it's an earthquake. Yeah, August 18th, 1959. Unfortunately, there was massive devastation. People died, people were trapped, but in its ruins, you now have an amazing, spectacularly glistening, five foot mile long lake. Amazing how the earth revitalizes itself, you know? Five foot mile. Five foot mile. <laughs> anyway, five also, mile. life hack. Just want to lay it down on you guys quick. If you need to get water, you can come to any visitor center and they have water. Oh, like I haven't paid for water at all on this trip. The more you know. After spending a bit more time in the beloved state of Montana, Oleg and I decided to pack our things and head south. Your stone, your stone, hanging out in so the problem has been that Montana and Wyoming haven't had entrance and exit signs. These are the only two states that we really haven't had the full complete experience. So we're in Wyoming again after Devil's Tower about a week ago. Wow. Oleg bought half the store. Anna. Mm -hmm, good eating. <laughs> oh, good eating. Let's ride. Ascending that mammoth. People are beautiful, but they are insane. In Wyoming again via Yellowstone. No lake thoughts. Fresh air. Fresh air. Let's see some bison, baby. Let's see some prismatic spring. Grizzly. Let's ride, baby. Yellowstone is to me. It's an attraction of bubbling geysers. Aladdin is coming up. Aladdin. Fun fact of the day. This was not here before the earthquake of August 17th, 1959 at Earthquake Lake that we were just talking about. The more you know. She's raised mad. Stay away. That is amazingly impressive.
Set life. <clears throat> Good morning. <laughs> Oleg and I froze our asses off last night. How cold did it get down to? It was very cold. I didn't expect that because we moved down south from Glacier. Glacier is going to be the coldest. The coldest. The Yellowstone surprised us. It was like 30, it was probably 30 at night. Our little booties were frozen off. But you know what? We woke up this morning, we got a coffee. We got like, a cheap coffee which in is zero, zero Celsius. I'd zero say. Celsius, yeah. I think maybe like minus one. <sighs> And there is a little, another little travel hack. If you are staying in Yellowstone and you need a first come, first serve campground, you can go to Grant Village. They usually have, I mean, they have about five loops. They just closed down today, actually. Yeah, and we actually got the last day that they were offering usage, I guess. Yeah, what is it, $15 per person, I guess? $34 for a campsite, $15 for group camping with each campsite you do get a designated shower pass, which is amazing. We'll shower a day, I guess. Right? Yeah, we utilized that this morning and we feel great. I figured we'd show you Lewis Lake, one of the fabulous beautiful. foggy lakes in Yellowstone right now. Yellowstone, it's known for all of its geysers, which are amazing, but I find that its lake front views are some of the most astonishing. And I think that's what makes the park special. We'll catch with you guys later wherever that may be. Cheers. Grand Tetons. Grand Tetons. Grand Tetons. We finally made it after only two days of talking about it. No, two days, one day, whatever. I'm always talking about it. They're gorgeous, they're huge. I come visit. The postcards aren't a lie. <laughs> Upward and onward. Doing the Grand Tetons. Of destinations. So literally everybody's just taking a photo. Okay. And we're gonna be right there. And there she blows. driving our way through Jackson Hole, Wyoming. We have been here before. It's not one of my favorite places. It's incredibly overpriced. It's a very beautiful place, but unfortunately it's not for us right now. driven this road before but being able to stop now has had a really nice touch and the weather now is well into the 70s and this morning it was in the 20s so you think you're prepared but you never really are now I gotta go take a little tinkle on the road Looks like a sun.
Strawberry Reservoir, about an hour outside of Salt Lake City, Utah. Stunning views. Damn cold in the morning. We had some frost on the tent. Oi! Just lost my ankle almost in that hole. The remnants of frost. Now it's kind of melting, but it was there. Like, how did you sleep last night? Well, not cold at all. Not cold? What saved you? The wormies. Yeah, the wormies! There's hundreds of them. Ah, I feel the same. Well, you don't see that every day. Whew. After a little bit of a tumultuous day, nearly running out of gas, having some issues finding parking for this particular trailhead, Oleg and I are about to set out on an amazing hike. This is a hot springs trailhead. We've heard it's great. We're ready to swim. Couldn't really find proper parking in the actual parking area, so we're on a scenic turnout parking. Hopefully nothing happens to our car. We'll see. We're gonna make some Sammies. We're gonna have some fun. Ready to go, baby. Start to see the pools. <sighs> oh my god. You can smell them too. Oh my god. Whoa! That is quite literally like a hot bath. Like a steaming hot shower, honestly. Oh. Was it good? Oh my god. It smells like an egg sandwich. Oleg had a sterling silver bracelet and now it is a purple yellow. Purple yellow hue. Oleg, what were your thoughts at the hot springs? It's good in fall. Oh god, we're the baking. It feels like you go from one part to the other part. Truly. I feel like dehydrated and a little bit sick, but it's beautiful. Hot. Very hot. It's hot. Leg and I were deeply unsatisfied with that hike, I'd say. It's okay, but in fall. It was okay, but not for us, yeah, right now. On to the next one, don't you think? Yeah.
5.05 and our estimates for waking up were going to be around 5 anyway but we ended up waking up at around 4.45 because it started to rain. A little drizzle, if you will. We're anticipating a major thunderstorm coming through Utah, specifically Arches National Park, which is where we're headed right now. Arches National Park. Oleg and I, we slept in our car for four hours, left the batteries on for the first 30 minutes, or left the lights on, I should say. That's okay, the car still works. We're finally here on the hike. Of the first group of people still, so no regrets. SOS if you need it. No internet connection. Well, two no, bars. Okay. I don't know. Two bars, whatever. <laughs> that that one looks like an ape and that this looks like a congregation of people. Right, Oleg? Yes, it does. <laughs> Somebody's nervous. Where are we right now? Moab, and Utah. What are your thoughts right now? Pretty good, pretty, pretty good, but a little dirty. But they're probably proud of that. Yeah, this is definitely a town that is proud of its dirt. It's everywhere. It just rained. Excuse me, like Hawaii, like Big Island vibes. Yeah, for some reason. It's gives like a little bit little, of. It's hot, but it's humid. Yep. And we're just hitting some stores, spending time in the downtown, doing a little what I like to call. Chill zone. Like, are you hitting that thrift? Oh, yeah, baby. There we go. Oh, my God. That's amazing. direction and we try to not drive at night so we decided to turn around and now 
we are going into... What did you call it, Oleg? Armageddon. Armage Armageddon. Armageddon. Look at that. Tonight, we're gonna what? Uh, sleep well. Tonight we're gonna sleep in the car. <laughs> we have to. We, we have to. Rain is in our direction, but clear skies tomorrow. Yeah, my cover. Just an update. It is literally apocalyptic. Oleg and I have decided that it is time to book our first hotel because this is just the beginning and it's supposed to be going all night. The darkness. It's a darkness. So let's give, oi, let's give Arch Canyon in. A big round of applause for saving our arses tonight. Mm -hmm. 